Yo, yo. So, Kings, Mike Brown. Now, you know, a lot of reports don't be true. And a lot of do has some merit to it, right? So I seen a report that kind of sticks with me. I don't know if it was true, but I got a feeling that it was. Because of the hire. So pretty much Vivek sided with Mark Jackson. McNair wanted Brown. McNair got Brown. So therefore, to me, Vivek took a seat back and said, all right, man, I like what you done did so far. I trust you. We're going to go with you. We're going to live and die with you. And that's the exact approach that you should have. Now, I know a lot of y'all be hard on Vivek, but you got to get that man credit, man. The man sit over there and learn from the Pete D'Alessandro days, man, and sit over there, you feel me, and just took a step back. Let this man, the man brought you some bonus. Do you understand that we ain't had a big man that was skilled like that since Cousins? And, and you was able to keep Fox? And then you got rid of Bagley and Buddy? You trying to tell me that that ain't masterpiece? That ain't a masterpiece work? You you can damn near sit over there and get you a big three. I, like I said, I'm with Johnny. Uh, Johnny Davis need to be the pick. I'm telling you that right now, Johnny Davis need to be the pick. So you got to potentially that you can have a big three. Come on, man. And you see the way that Fox was playing with Sabonis, man. And I'm going to tell you what, though. I read an article on Mike Brown, man, on how he had to do some soul searching. And I'm going to tell you like this, man. Pop. Pop reached out to him. Anybody that Pop endorses, Greg Popovich, that's I'm with that because Pop produces some good coaches. And, of course, Pop, to me, is damn near probably the best coach to ever coach basketball, man. That's to me. And if he ain't the best to y'all, man, you, you, you'd be sleep to say that man ain't top three. So if Pop if Pop endorses him, I'm with it. And Pop endorse, I know Pop endorsed him, man. He sit over there and brought him along. And, and for a man to sit over there and say, look, my approach hasn't been working. So I'm so I need to do some soul searching and and, and, re, and rediscover the love of the game and see and learn from others. And, and, and come on, man. And then he and then he's running. He's helped running the, the one of the most successful organizations in the past few years with the Golden State Warriors. Come on, man. Excellent hire. Excellent hire. Because, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean, we got to sit over there and sit back and do some soul searching. Like, all right, my, my ways ain't ain't been giving me the results that I want. So what can I do to be better? And for a man to sit over there and do that and to really just sit over there and understand what he need to do and then take things from successful coaches and put them in his, that's a coach that you want. So I believe that factored into the McNair situation. And I'm about to say, man, I think McNair about to bring us back. I got full confidence in McNair. And if McNair don't work out, this franchise is just cursed. Because the man bringing in good moves. He done sit over there and got rid of the the the, the cancers of the he's getting rid of the cancers of the team. The man done sit over there and brought in Davion Mitchell, man, and Sabonis, man. And he even had a draft pick that he endorsed, but he was like, it just ain't gonna work. We need to get rid of something to get something. And he did that. Come on, man. He, the man bringing in culture changers, bro. And you know Sabonis daddy was a... That boy was a hooper. So you know he learned from a hooper. Davion, we know that man. Do I need to say anything about Davion? Fox got potential. He just need to sit over there, man, and just take that next step. Fox ain't no bum. We know that. But he got to take that next step for us to sit over there and get to the next step. And if he can do that, man, if he could take that John Moran... I ain't saying he John Moran, but if he could take that John Moran step... Man, come on, man. How is we not going to sit over there and prosper? But, man, I got full confidence, man. I, I ain't going to lie to you. I wanted Mark Jackson. But I was cool with Mike Brown because McNair wanted him. Because, you know, my you know my, my last impression of, Mark, of Mike Brown is Cleveland. You know what I mean? And I didn't like how he went out like that. But, you know, people change. So, you know, I believe in second chances, man. So, you know what I mean? We're going to see how this works, man. He might be the one for a four-year deal, man. Let's see what he can do, man. Let's see if he can sit over there. Because we know he about defense. 
So we're going to see about this culture change, man, and hopefully this work. Uh, man, we got our coach, man. Let's do our thing. But y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We out.